What's going on, everybody? Let's talk about the final two episodes of season four of Stranger Things. Now, if you happen to have watched my review on the first seven episodes of season four, you'll know that I wasn't a big fan of what we've gotten so far. From the slow pace and the filler, I have to say that this might be my least favorite of the season so far, but that's not to say that it is a bad season. No, there's a lot of good that happens in these episodes. I do really like the way that they're pushing the story forward and the different aspects and the twists and turns that we've gotten. My biggest issue comes from just how they told the story on them separating everybody because it, to me, I feel that these characters work best when they're together. <laughs> and with them being separated like they were, things like Will and Mike's story and what's going on with them trying to find Eleven just seemed kind of like a throwaway storyline that we didn't really need to see and was really drawn out for no real reason at all. You have the Hopper stuff over in Russia, which I don't think they needed nine episodes to show that rescue and finally escape that prison. It just, to me, it felt like it was just overdone. The heart of this season, though, really falls with the cast and crew that are at Hawkins. Everything that's going on there is really what is interesting and exciting about this season. If you take away the other things, the other side stories, and focused more on that, I would give this an A+, plus, A++, plus plus, if you will. This show could have been, or this season, I should say, could have been fantastic. But it was bogged down by the unnecessary and pointless filler stories with the other characters. Besides that, I do have a couple other issues. One of being that they played it safe. They really tried to play this series or this season safe. These characters have been great, especially the ones that started in season one are still there today. They've been great thus far, but every season where we're seeing this danger, we're not seeing any ramifications of that danger for us to all get frightened and scared of what could possibly come. We thought that we would have seen some ramifications of this at the end of season three, where we thought Hopper died, but they quickly, quickly changed that and showed us, no, he's not actually dead. So I thought they were gonna go a different way this season. I really thought that one of the main characters who had a very strong emotional connection to the core group would be gone this year. We would see someone die and really just ramp up the scariness of this upside down. But no, they played it safe. We don't know the ramifications of what happened to Max. Yeah, she did get all mangled and was blind and then did die. And we saw Eleven bring her back, or did she bring her back? You see, there are some weird things there that are going on. So what's gonna come of that? I, I, I'm not sure, but I will say this, they should have kept her dead. And even though I think that would have been the least emotional character to kill off, it still would have had some emotional impact on the rest of the cast. The fact that she's not dead and we don't really know where she's at really doesn't have that same impact and hit us as fans or even the cast or the characters, you will. The next thing I don't really enjoy and what I didn't like was the fact that they yet again killed off a new character. Season two, it was Bob. Season three, it was the, the Russian guy. This year, it was Eddie. And Eddie was a great character. And I'm not sitting here saying that they should not have killed him off, but the way they killed him off just was not impactful enough. He had some amazing moments in this season, especially in this final episode, but there was no reason for him to die when he died. Why was he still taking the bat, directing them away? They did their deed, they did what they needed to do. At that point in time, he could have gotten out of Dodge and they would have been fine. So that was just kind of poor writing in my opinion with that whole aspect, but again, they killed off a safe character. Yeah, we liked him. Hey, we liked Bob, we liked the guy in season three. We liked him, but we didn't get emotionally attached to them. Nor did most of the, the cast on, or the characters on the show. And that's where deaths just fall flat. So those were a few of my issues. Now, like I said, there was a lot of good with this season as well. Vecna was portrayed brilliantly, even though towards the end, it was kind of like, why are you not finishing what you were doing with Max? Why are you focusing on Eleven? That kind of stuff was a little ridiculous, but overall, I mean, the characters, the, the, the Steve and Nancy bit, I really like, and I think it's kind of showing that those two are going to end up together. If not, 
Steve is going to have to sacrifice himself for Nancy or something like that at some point. Uh, I, I, I gotta say, look, it was a good season. It was not terrible. It's not the best, though. And there's a lot of people sitting there that, oh, this is amazing. This is the best. And I think the reason why so many people are saying it's the best is because we haven't had Stranger Things for three years. So people were just like, I want Stranger Things. And we finally get it. And it's good, but it's not great. Overall, I say, look, if you like Stranger Things, you're going to like this. Especially if you, if, I mean, if you haven't watched these final two episodes at this point, where the hell are you? I mean, Netflix crashed on day one because there were so many people watching it. But... I don't know, I just don't think it was as good as everybody was saying or is saying it is. It's not terrible. It has some pacing issues. It has some narrative issues. But overall, I mean, it's good. It's enjoyable. I love Stranger Things. I wish they wouldn't stop at season five. I would love to see this show continue on. And honestly, I would love to see them, after season five, jump up like 20 years. <laughs> and what's going on in the 2000s with all this? So I would love to see that. But let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe, follow all that jazz. With all that said, I'll talk to all of you later.